Godzilla got himself an upgrade. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Platinum Edition G1 Triptychon. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. And let me reach all the way to the other side of the table here to get it, because it is rather large packaging. We have to push Triptychon back. But right here we have a nice piece of artwork there of Triptychon just laying waste. Very cool little battle scene going on right there. Triptychon, Platinum Edition, all that good stuff. On this side of the box we got Decepticon symbol. On the other side of the box you have another Decepticon symbol. On the top of the box you got Decepticon symbol in case you forgot what side he's on. On the bottom you just have your copyright stuff and whatnot. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shot. He does this, that, the other. Only six steps which would enrage people today, but since this came out back in the 80s, that was actually considered complicated. <laughs> okay, not really, but... Anyway, you can open up this front flap right here, and yes, you do need batteries for this toy also. But if you open up the front flap in here is where the figure will sit. And on the inside flap you have a bio if you want to read it in whatever language you want to read it in. So, there you have that. And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have... Get back here. Get back here. <laughs> here we have G1 Triptychon, and I am so happy to have this guy. This this toy was on my bucket list, and uh, I'm very happy to finally have him. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm a very happy... I'm a happy geek today. I just got this guy in uh, the other day. I picked him up from Amazon. And uh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've always wanted a Triptychon, and I'm so happy to finally have one. Because he's really, really cool. So here is G1 Triptychon in his base mode. Um, and a very cool, you know, base mode, city mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. I really, really dig it. So let's just pick up the camera here and get in close so you can see some of the details. Um, obviously, being a G1 toy, there are a lot of stickers. The stickers are pre-applied, so you don't have to spend a lot of time applying stickers. Although, I do wish they were on the sheet so you could do it yourself, because some of these stickers are kind of crooked. Like, this one's kind of crooked. That Decepticon symbol is crooked, and that just irks my soul. And <laughs> But, no, well... It is what it is, but then you got the uh, the helipads on either side. You get the you know, little, you know, what service, I guess, buildings and whatnot. You got the three towers here in the back. Come down here to these little side armatures. And I love the transclearing plastic here with the chrome underneath it. I love that effect. Again, some more sticker detail throughout. Same on the other side. Um, get some sticker detail along the sides here. And uh, some, some nice mold details also on the sides as well. Very well done. For being a G1 toy. So, there you have that. This is going to be kind of awkward to film, so do excuse me, but this guy is rather large. But, um, yeah, very, very, very cool. I really dig it. Um, he does come with these two uh, little satellite dish arrays here, which just plug in right up top. Plug in right there. And yeah, very cool. And even, you know, like, even the city mode has, like, evil-looking eyes, which that, that kind of creeps me out. <laughs> so, there you have that. Now, of course, he does come with his buddy here. This is Full Tilt. And you can see he's just a little purple car. And, uh, you know, pretty much cast all in purple plastic just with some black tires. Um, any details are just stickers. You see that's a sticker right there. Stickers, stickers, Decepticon symbol right there. On the other side, you just got a Decepticon symbol on his belly. And a little gun right there that you can rotate. You see, it just plugs in right up top. And to get him into robot mode, it's for... Actually, before we get into robot mode, with the uh, compare him with uh, G1 Scamper. And you can see how they scale. He's a little bit shorter. Then scamper a bit smaller. So, there you have that. So now to get him into robot mode, very, very simple. You just remove the little gun. You take this whole section here, bring it down, bring his little arms out, and voila! Robot mode! 
It's G1. What do you expect? Come on now. Getting close here on the face sculpt. He doesn't have much of a face. He has a kind of a face, you know. And some sparse, you know, uh, molded in details. Old Decepticon symbol right there on his stomach. And that's that pretty pretty simple. I mean, he does have uh, full rotation at the shoulders. And it's actually it's ratcheted, which I was not expecting. There to be a ratchet on this little guy, but they're actually... He has ratcheted shoulders, which is weird. And you take his little gun, and there are ports on either forearm here. You just plug it in. There you go. He's got his little gun. Hooray, guns. And just for another comparison, here he is again with G1 Scamper. So you can see he's actually a little bit taller than Scamper. There you go. So you have that. And yeah, you can just have a full tilt here, just kind of, you know, hanging out. You know, just shooting the breeze, leaning up against the, uh, leaning up against the, uh, the satellites there, and just uh, checking things out, holding down the fort as it will. Uh, <laughs> but there is a cool little feature for the, uh, for the city mode here, is if you put him back in car mode, and if we turn him around, you'll see right here, and yes, he does have visible head syndrome, there's nothing hiding that head, but anyway, if you come back here, you can see there's this orange button right here that you can push down. And if we turn this guy back around here, get everything straightened back out. If you take full tilt here and put him on the central ramp and push the orange button down, he gets launched and flies down the ramp, which is a pretty cool little play feature right there. I do quite dig it. <laughs> and apparently that's very dangerous to do, because danger right there! It's, it's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. So, there you have that. So yeah, you got these uh, three big ramps right here. So you could take full tilt, you know, if you wanted to. You could take them and roll them down this ramp if you want. And you have the two helipads right here, so if you want to take, you know, Vortex, Vortex can hang out on a helipad. You know, you could load this guy up with some little Decepticons. Totally up to you, but yeah, there you have that. Now, he does have some compatibility with other G1 Decepticons. Like, uh, if you have Motormaster, for example, you could put Motormaster in this little base ramp mode configuration thing. Yeah, I know it is kind of weird, but you can do it. And there are actually uh, connectors here. On each side, which two of these pieces just plug in, they're extra pieces. I just plug into two ports right here. Not into the screw holes, they're actually designated, designated ports for them. You take them right here, you can see there are little slots right here, and Motormaster has this little this tab right here. So, what you do is you just take this and just hook that right in there. It doesn't hold in securely or anything, it just kind of rests there, but it basically gives you a little extension to the base right there. If you want that going on. And if you have a G1 Onslaught, you can put him in this little, you know, ramp base configuration thing that he could do also. And you can see the back of his head is basically a, a big tab. And you can take him and plug him into the other side like that. So basically, and again, you can see that doesn't really hold on securely. It just, it just rests there. But as you can see, you can pretty much, you know, have the base mode with some extensions on it, which is pretty cool. And if you want a little bit of symmetry, since he is kind of poking out sideways, you know, if you want them both facing forward, then all you have to do is just, you know, undo the one side here. Put that back in. Just undo the one side and just, you know, swing that forward like that. And then you can just hook that in. And then have both of them facing forward. So, you know, you have options on how you want to display them. So there you go, you know. Trypticon City can have some expansions if you wish. So we'll just take these guys off and then put them off to the side. Just get all that. Uh, get all this plugged back in. Like that. And, whoops, that came undone. How dare you, how dare you come undone. How dare you. So there you go. Now you do get one uh, little motorized feature 
which is pretty cool. You have your on off switch right there. And when you turn it on, you get. Yeah! That's a lot of noise for not much effect, but. Yeah! Little satellite dishes rotate. Yeah! Okay, stop that because that actually gets a little annoying after a while. But yeah, there you go. You can, you can totally do that if you want. <laughs> why not? Dare I say, why not? So that's pretty much everything with the city mode. So now let's go. And this is where my tongue stops working. Let's get on down to getting him into his battle station mode. So to do that, it is going to require some parts removal. What parts for me? What? It's G1, come on! You don't know this by now? So you gotta remove these two ramps. You're not gonna need them anymore. Put those off to the side. You're gonna take off these little connector pieces right here. You're not gonna need that. You're not gonna need that. And I know there's some eBay seller somewhere saying, I could sell that for $50. You scam artist, you, how dare you? Anyway, <laughs> so you want to take those pieces off. You want to come back here, you want to take off these two purple pieces, you want to take off this one, you want to take off this one, and while you're at it, you can just take them and connect the two together. You can see how that just clips in right there. And we'll need this for later, but for right now, you can just connect these two and put them off to the side. You want to flip in the helipads right here. You want to remove these two satellite dish arrays here. Put those off to the side because you're not going to need them. And you're going to replace them with these little uh, gun emplacements here. And they're made up of two pieces right here. You have the gun itself and then you have this little armature that just, you know, slots right into. And again, some eBay sellers going, I could sell that for $75. I hate you. I hate you people. <laughs> you just... Slot that in there, and that will now go plugged into here. And then you get this uh, this piece right here, which is just two big missiles. And again, so there's the, I could sell that for $200. But anyway, let's put that, slide that in, plug that in there. And there you have that. You want to flip up this section of the main ramp, flip that up, flip out these two little guns right there. And now you're going to come to this section right here, and you're going to flip them in and you'll see that there are I don't know how well I can show this off but there are these buttons right here so let's pick them up there's these buttons right here these little sliders and basically what they do is they move I don't know if you can see that but they're little basically little clamps that open and close and they will go on to you see these little black uh, posts right here so you make sure you want to make sure that you you push this Push this down as you bring these two pieces together, and that will lock that panel in place like that. So once you do that, like that, and you want to bring that purple piece down right here, the second verse, same as the first, just flip this up, make sure that locks in place right there, fold that down like that, and then you want to take these two towers here, bring them, you don't have to bring them all the way forward, just kind of bring them down one click, you can extend these purple guns right there. You want to take this tower and bring it down like that and then bring this gun forward. And I think we're done. Are we done? I believe we're done. Oh, yes, we're done. So there you go. There you have Trypticon in his battle station mode right there. And that looks pretty cool. Um, you know, I mean, it's not like super duper armed. I mean, you got two little guns right here, two guns here, two guns here. The big main cannon right there, which seems pretty devastating. But there you go. You do get some new uh, some new sticker details that are revealed right here, which is pretty cool. And there you have that. Now, this cannon itself does have a light-up feature. Let me just take this out for now. Uh, this uses a 1AA battery, which you do have to uh, buy yourself. The batteries are not included. So 1AA battery goes in here. You have your on off switch right there. And you see it just two ports, two posts, just plugs in right there. So you can turn this on and pew! No, no noises, just nice bright light in there. And then, of course, you can, you know, turn this back on and... Yeah! The 
It's not super exciting, but it does something. Mm -hmm. Yeah! yeah. Stop it, stop it. That, that, that does get annoying. Anyway, <laughs> There he is in his battle station mode. And, of course, if you want, you can have, you know, full tilts. Sitting here with his gun also. You know, I can sit here manning the station. And there you go. So, yeah. So, there he is in his battle station mode. Pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it. I like it very much. So, there you have that. Oh, and before I forget, there is one comparison I wanted to do. I am so sorry. How dare I almost forget. I actually want to get him back into city mode real quick, like. Real quick, like. It's only take, like, half an hour tops for me to get him back into city mode. Don't worry. Do not fret. Do not fret, because I'm going to edit all of this out. All of it. I'm going to edit all of this out. All of it. I promise. I promise I'm going to edit, like, all of this out. I'm not going to edit any of this out, actually. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not even sorry. I'm really... I'm not, I'm not even sorry. And my cat's outside the door meowing. I don't know if you can hear that. Austin! Stop it! Daddy's working! Daddy's working! Let's get these plugged in. I know I don't have to do all this and plug everything back in, but still, I want to be, you know, I want to be accurate with it. I want to be accurate. There we go. Let's get him back into city mode real quick. There you go. So there he is, back in city mode. And move him over. And I don't even know how I'm going to do this, because this is, there's not enough room on this table for both these guys. But we're going to try. We're, we're going to try best we can. But here he is with uh, Metroplex, G1 Metroplex. They're not both going to fit on this table. This is going to be, this is, this is just going to get dangerous. Let's just, okay, wait, okay, if we do this, there we go. Okay, that could work. Okay, okay, that works, I think, kind of, sort of, maybe. I'm scared. I'm scared. I really am. I'm fear for my life at this point. I really do. So there we go. Let's see if we can pull back here. And uh, get the shit. There we go. So there he is with. There he is with G1 Metroplex, and you can see he is quite a bit larger than uh, than G1 Metroplex there. So there you go. I just didn't want to forget to do that, and I don't know how I forgot because he's sitting on the table right over there. So I don't know how I missed this big thing just sitting right there. How did that slip my mind? I don't know. I ain't right, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't right. Have you figured that out by now? So let's get this guy out of the way. There we go. All right. So let's get him back into battle station mode. This is only going to take, like, you know, an hour tops for me to get him back into battle station mode, okay? I, I will edit all this out. I promise I will edit all of this out. Don't you worry. I'm going to edit all of this out. I'm not going to edit any of this out. None of this whatsoever. None of this whatsoever is getting edited out. It's a, no. If I have to suffer, you're going to suffer with me. That's the way I always look at it. But anyway, there we go. There we go. Battle station mode. Yay! Woo! Yeah! That's still annoying, but... <laughs> it's annoying, but awesome. But there you go. Back in battle station mode. So... There you have that. So last but not least, let's get him into his robot mode. Not really a robot mode, it's more like his dino mode, really. He's basically a dino bot when you think about it. But anyway, you want to flip up these little guns right here. You want to remove these pieces right here. You're not going to need those anymore. You want to remove these pieces on the side here. You see they just plug in right there. And these pieces... You're now going to, let's put this back together. Let's plug those two halves back together. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these pieces right here. You want to make sure the treads are facing forward. And you want to plug them in to either side of this right here. So you have that going on. And then you want to remove the big central cannon right here. And that will plug in right there. And now you have Brunt. It's just a big purple tank. And you can see there's no paint whatsoever except for the transclearant orange right there, which again, you can still turn that on and you get the little light up effect right there. And you just get some sticker details right there. That's all you get for deco. It's just those two stickers. And he does have wheels. 
So you can roll around. And just for a quick comparison here, there he is with full tilt. You can see he's obviously way bigger than full tilt. So there you have that right there. So now let's say Trypticon here. You want to push these back in. You want to bring them up. And you're just going to take these two sections right here and just bring them together. And they'll clip together right there. You want to bring these purple pieces up like that. And then I have to raise the camera because he is going to get tall. So, excuse me while I readjust myself. So there we go. And then you just take his head, rotate around. You can bring these down against his back. Tilt his head up there. And there you have... And get him standing a little bit more straight here. There we go. And there you go. There you have Trypticon in his robot mode. Look at how big and fierce, and I love his robot mode. Very, very cool. He doesn't want to stand up straight for me. You stand, man. You stand. There we go. So you have that. Looking very, very cool. He does have the rub symbol here on the side of his head, which probably will not work because my hands are actually kind of cold right now because it's a little chilly in the house so I'm probably not going to be able to activate the rub sign probably not even if I actually rub it this is where people in the comment section start yelling at me about how to operate a rub symbol I'm going, all you gotta do is oh it's not working I don't care you know what faction he's with it's not like it's a surprise. It's, it's a big Decepticon symbol on his chest, for Pete's sakes. But anyway, there you have that. So, I mean, obviously you can leave him kind of bare-chested there with the Decepticon symbol on his chest. But what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to take full tilt here, and there are two ports right there on the bottom, and you just take him and you plug him into Trypticon's chest. And that is proper right there, so... There you have that. You can leave the little gun up top if you want, but all of the pictures never show him with this little gun in the chest, so that's totally up to you if you want to leave that little gun in there. Me personally, I take it off. But there you have that. Now articulation-wise, it's G1, so there's not a lot. Um, his head can rotate, although you do have to kind of bring these up to free it up. But he can actually rotate. You can do a full... Uh, Almost a full 360. There you go. <laughs> full tilt gets a little bit in the way, but he can rotate his head. Um, his head only goes up and down one click. That's it. You can't open up his mouth. Uh, the arms, the arms and the legs, as you can see, are actually joined together for the uh, walking gimmick. So you can't really do anything with the arms posability wise. Um, you can open his, his, his thumb. You can do that, and that's pretty much it. But uh, taking a close look at the robot mode here, I mean, you can see there's lots of nice molded detail. Um, you got some nice chrome work here, and again, lots of nice molded detail. It's very nice. We'll go down his back here again. You know, some molded details, a little bit here and there. But uh, very cool. He does have some chrome toes, which is nice. We'll get in closer on the head sculpt. I like that nice piece of transclearant orange plastic right there and he got some sticker detail on his nose got the sticker there for the eyes like a gold sticker I believe on the original G1 toy this was kind of like a chrome sticker um, or it was actually chromed I'm not sure but I, I've seen pictures of the actual G1 toy and that's a lot shinier but um, yeah very, very cool nonetheless very cool and again you got some a lot of sticker details right there it's very nice now of course you can totally uh, Get them all ready for battle. You can raise this panel right here. Pull out this little chrome gun out of his forehead. And then you can open this up. And he has some chromed missiles in his mouth, which is pretty cool. And you can take these guns if you want. Flip them forward. You can extend these. So he's ready to go. And if you, you know, if you really want to get crazy about it, honestly, you can remove, oops, you can remove full tilt. You can take this big cannon off, you can plug this into his chest, and you can have a giant chest cannon. Why not? 
Dare I say why not? You can do it. Hey. You gonna mess with a dinosaur with a giant cannon coming out of his chest? I know I'm not. I don't know about you, but I won't. I won't, I won't even think about it. I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna think about it. But there you go. But the motorized gimmick does apply in this mode as well. And again, you have your on a switch right there. Um, now this takes two C batteries and they go, uh, where do they go? They go right here in his tail. Two C batteries, which I think this is the first time in like 15 years that I've ever had to buy C batteries because who the heck uses C batteries anymore? But yeah, I had to go buy some C batteries for this guy. <laughs> so yeah, two C batteries. And we'll see if we can get a good angle here. Hopefully he works. <laughs> Because I have his legs in a weird position here, so let me see if I can get this. There we go. That'll probably work a little bit better. And when you uh, turn him on, here we go. Do it. There we go. Come on, trip the gun. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of noise for walking so slow, but yeah. So yeah, he can, he can walk. <laughs> he walks like a man who ate way too much on Thanksgiving, like I did. <laughs> this is basically the way I was walking after I got up from the table the other day after Thanksgiving dinner. But yeah, let's do this again so we can kind of have him come at you. There he goes, he's coming at you. Oh yeah! Crypticon's coming for you! Oh! What? What? Oh no! What are we gonna do? I know what we do. We let them fight. We let them fight. Ah! Ah! It's the slowest death ever, anyway. There we go. So yeah, he can walk. <laughs> So there you have that. And for a comparison, here he is with G1 Metroplex. There is his nemesis there. You can see how they look together. And again, uh, Triptychons, a bit taller than Metroplex. You can see how they look together. There you have that. Um, here he is with G1 Megatron. Just because... We have that, and G1 Optimus. So, you can see how he scales with those dudes. Right there, man. Just because, why not? I haven't done this in a long time. How does he scale with Generations Metroplex? There he is with Generations Metroplex. <laughs> and obviously that is way way mismatched there which is why we need an updated trip to con so i'm not on facebook so i can't vote for that uh i i can't uh participate in that vote for what the next titan class figure is going to be but if i was on facebook then i would definitely vote trip to con because i think we're long overdue for an updated trip to con in my opinion, anyway. Especially since they gave us Metroplex, it just seems like Triptychon would just be the logical next step if you want to do another Titan, you know, city former. It just just makes sense in my head anyway. But um, also, I'm a Triptychon fanboy, so I'm, I'm very biased in that respect. So <laughs> There you have that. So yeah, there is G1 Triptychon, and here he is with, uh, with Brunt right here. Here, you can leave your... Leave your light on as we wrap things up there. <laughs> but yeah, I love this toy. Um, you know, this toy uh, it has been on my bucket list for a very long time. I've always wanted a trip to Con, so I'm very, very happy to finally have this guy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy together. Let's dance. Let's dance together, trip to Con. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just getting weird. It's just getting weird. <laughs> Some people like it's getting weird. No, we're way past weird. I'm go. We are way past weird. But anyway, um, 
I'm really happy to finally have a G1 Trypticon. I've always wanted one of these, and uh, so happy to finally have one. And uh, yeah, very, very cool toy. I dig it. I really, really dig it. Now, I got this guy off of Amazon. Uh, there was a link on TFW 2005. Um, I think it was last week. Uh, that link to the Amazon listing for this guy. Um, I mean, there, there were individual sellers on Amazon selling it, but they were selling it for like 200 and over. Amazon themselves were selling it for retail. And uh, I think I only paid $5 shipping, which is great because, you know, no crazy import prices. So I love it because I think EMS shipping for this guy from Robot Kingdom was like 50 bucks, And I was like, eh, no. So, yeah, so pay retail and only about 5 bucks shipping. Awesome. And uh, it's funny because, like, the day after I paid for this guy, BBTS put up pre-orders as well. So you can also get him off BBTS if you want. So, yeah, there you go. You have, you have options for getting this guy at a good price. Basically, the price you're supposed to pay for him. So there you have that. But yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's just... G1 goodness, man. I love it. I mean, I know there are people who hate on G1. I love G1. This is my childhood, ladies and gentlemen, so I love it. I, I can't hate on this because, you know, this is what I grew up with, you know. And I love it, and I can appreciate it. And, you know, 30 years from now when this franchise is 60 years old, I can still look on G1 and still smile because, you know, this is where I came from, man. This is, this is where I came from. This is what got me started, man, G1. So... <laughs> There you go. So if you would like a trip to con of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my G1 Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Platinum Edition G1 trip. Let's try it again. There is the Transformers Generations Platinum Edition G1 Trypticon. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs>